what's going on YouTube so today I'm going to take this antique looking cluster that Cadillac thought would be a great idea to shove in the ATS and retrofit in a CTSV fully digital cluster I've already removed the hood off the top and disconnected my battery so I'm going to take this out and we're going to compare it side by side to the digital cluster and take a look at what we got to do all right so I got the cluster cover or hood or whatever you want to call it off and I have the you're going to hit something lights on top. I don't have heads up display. So you're going to want to unplug that right there. If you have that, if you have HUD, I don't know how it comes apart, but just unplug it. Uh, I'm not going to show you all that because if you're doing this mod, you should probably have a basic understanding of how to unplug things and turn a screw. So um, if you can do that, continue watching. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, this probably isn't for you. And you can show this video to your mechanic. So then we're going to... Take these two guys out right here, seven millimeters, and sorry about the sun here. See how we can do this. This piece pops up, seven millimeter there. Same thing on the other side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take those out, pop this cluster out, and we will compare it to the CTSV unit. So to get to those bottom two bolts, you got to take this off. There'll be fabric back here that's in the way. So you pry up on this, it'll, you'll feel it pop up. And then here's the connectors that'll be down there. So you feel like you're gonna break something, but you're not gonna break something. Um, I use some pry tools. Pull up on this, bing bing, and there's your bottom bolts you can access. And then with the top two out, which I just did. One over here, get those two out, and then we can remove the cluster. So in typical GM fashion, they have like the screwiest plugs and whatnot. So this is plugged into your cluster. This arm is all the way over here. Oh yeah, just like that. It's all the way over here. You're going to push down on the tab that's there, and then you'll rotate this back. As you rotate this back, it'll pull the plug right out of the cluster. And easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. Too bad the damn thing won't focus. There we go. Masks on deck when you go out. But uh, yep, yeah. so now the cluster's out. So now I'll bring it up, compare it next to the CTSV cluster, and look at what we have to do next. And this is the hole you're going to be left with once everything's removed. Uh, you can kind of see where the trim sat. There's a line right there. Uh, that's going to be important because we're going to have to cut this down here for the new cluster. But you don't want to go above anywhere that you'll be able to see once everything's put back together. All right. All right, so here's the back of the two clusters. Here's Big Betty, the CTSV digital cluster, and Trim Tiffany over here, the ATSV cluster from the back. As you can see, power, power, and then this has an extra plug, which is for HUD, which we'll be adding at a different time. So what we have to do is basically take these apart now, make some cuts, trim some things down, and make... Uh, Big Betty slit fit in uh, Trim Tiffany's dress here. For the next step, I'm going to take my T9 Torx bit. There's 11 screws, as you can see, on the back side of the CTSV cluster. I'm going to take all those out, separate apart the cluster. Then I got an X Acto knife, and we're going to cut right here and separate the ATS plastic shield from the stock cluster and then start comparing sizes and figure out where we gotta start cutting. So we got our screws out. Once you get the screws out, the cluster cover is still gonna be attached to the cluster. You're gonna have four little tabs, one there, one there, two on the bottom, all you're going to do is lift up on these tabs and pull them apart. 
So now we have everything separated. Flip this over. That's a spicy unit right there. So now I'm going to take apart the ATS cluster cover. Ooh, try not to knock anything over. And then I'm going to lay it on top of this. We're going to trace it out and see where we're going to have to cut. I know it's going to be somewhere around through here. And then we're also going to have to flip the other side over and start hacking up the metal frame. So on this step, I skipped ahead a little bit. I took out all the screws. I believe there was 11 of them. And when you turn it over, try and do this without messing anything up. There's your screen. On top of your screen is going to be the cluster surround, which is upside down and right here. Uh, it's barely stuck on with anything, so just gently pry it up. I set it to the side. Here's all your warning light pieces. They just slide in like this. There's two tabs. A little bit of glue. Just push these in. Gently pull out. Same on this side. And then... You can separate the metal, which we have to trim, from the screen and all the important stuff. So let's set this over here. And now we'll probably, I think next I'm going to start trimming this up based on some pictures I have, which I'll likely include in the video. And we'll go from there. So when you go to separate the stock ATS cluster cover from the cluster, there's little tabs all the way around. You're going to have to just push up on to get released. I took them all out because I didn't know at first, but it seems like on my particular model anyway, I don't know if they're different or not, this one and this one also have to be removed. Grab, pull out. There's our start stock gauges, which we won't need anymore. And this is what we're going to have to separate now. So now, this is going to go back into the car with that cluster once it's all put back together. But first, we have to separate this piece. So, all I'm going to do is take an X-Acto knife. And it's just like a minor adhesive between the two. I'm just going to lightly run it through the edge there. To separate them. So that sucked, but it's done. Back is separated from here. Uh, when you're using your knife, uh, whether it's an exacto knife or a box cutter or whatnot, um, you want it to look like this that you separate from the other piece. So now remember, you want to leave these pieces on the cluster cover because this is what everything bolts to and and lines everything up. So what I did was I took the ATS cover, put it on the whatever you call that thing that has the warning lights on it, and then the backing, which we still need to trim for the from the CTSV cluster. And I lined it up because as you can see the CTSV cluster is a little too big. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace around these edges here, right there and there, and these pieces are gonna be cut off as well as just that little stuff up there. Not too bad. I'm probably gonna mark it with some kind of marker. And then since it's so thin, I don't really wanna use a Dremel or a wheel or anything on it. I, I might just try it with scissors. I'm gonna try a little piece first, see how it cuts. And if scissors will do it, scissors it be. So you can cut this back a million different ways. Uh, the really only important part just keep that tab and that tab right there because that's what's going to line up on this tab and this tab. So you want to keep those, but as you can see, you can cut it however you want. This is how I chose to cut mine. I take this off and then I kind of cut it at a diagonal around that piece as well because that's going to help screw everything back together. I take that corner off right about to there, but I keep the tab. It's right about there. 
I'm sorry, right about here. And that's going to come off. And then we'll get to the bottom. All right, now that we got all of our cuts made, corner, 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 bing, bing. Take this. That's why it's important to keep these tabs so you can line this back up. Now, as you can see, I got my piece traced out. I actually went ahead and cut the tops. All I did was put this on top. And it's going to go right to the edge of that. Same thing over here. I guess mine was over more before. There you go. So it's right up to the top of those. Trace this out. Give it a cut. Don't cut too much. You can always cut more later. All right, so I got all my edges cut, like I had said. That's all trimmed and ready to go in. So what I did was I just screwed the back back on with, I think it was 11, 11 screws. You can see the corner where they're all cut, and you can see the screen behind it. All right, so now we're ready to mock it up in the car and see where I have to cut the dash. So one of the last things we got to do now is cut the dash and the ATS to fit the CTSV uh, screen in the back. So you can see where I made my cuts right here and right here. And then the center bolt right there is your typical GM 7 millimeter. I'm going to take those out and then we'll make our two final cuts on the side and we should be ready to wrap this up. So I'm just going to warn you now. This part ain't pretty, but it is what it is. This all gets hidden anyway. There's a cut on that side, cut on that side. That center piece is cut out. This is all just junk I'll clean up. Just springs of plastic from the Dremel. But like I said, you won't see it, so who really cares? I checked, the screen fits good. So now we're gonna start putting everything back together. So I got everything back together. Uh, it's the same thing just as um, when you took everything apart. The four screws that hold the clear cover on to the dash and then you put the dash cover back on. The only thing I noticed with mine is it sits a little low. As you can see, I can't really see the gear indicator or the mileage. So I'm going to take it apart tomorrow and try spacing it up a little bit uh, with some cardboard or wrap some electrical tape in certain areas to kind of build it up a little bit uh shouldn't need much maybe a quarter inch or so but yep everything's in it's pretty cool that it was boost then you can just have the tack um trip one trip two compass fuel range oil life tire pressure blah 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 probably leave it on boost Can change that to like a digital or just have the arm move everything over there yeah it's pretty cool so yeah like I said just got to space that up a little bit um it's kind of running out of daylight so at the end I was rushing it but I did get it done uh I did take my time and I took like a lunch break and uh probably 9 30 a.m to about 6 30 p.m uh you know like i said aside from lunch break bathroom break i just kind of like fussed with it didn't try and rush it because i didn't want to mess anything up did a lot of double checking uh which is very important obviously until the end but it is what it is that's minor um i know it's dark you can't see but everything fits perfectly and yeah, if you have any questions, please, by all means, comment below. I will answer them all. Um, yeah, shout out to uh, Chris Lee, Lee Sonmar. You guys are awesome. I had a ton of questions, and these guys hit me up. You know, we're, we're getting back to me all day, so really, really appreciate it. 
Um, yeah, I hope this helps people. And like I said, any questions, be happy to answer them. All right, good luck. Thanks for watching.